I am going to keep it 100% honest with you guys. I'm gonna be real and raw and just tell you the truth. You've heard nursing school exams are different than anything else. You have textbooks that you paid a lot of money for. Sometimes that happened just from a student speaking up in class. Nursing school is going to be an amazing time. You're going to have a blast. It's not gonna be super easy. Think of how far you've come. You've got this. Hi guys, I hope you're doing absolutely amazing. My name is Sierra and I'm currently a nursing student. I have been documenting my experience and sharing it with you guys and I'm so excited to share some more. In today's video, got out my notebook. That's how you know it's serious. I realize a lot of you guys are starting nursing school soon. You've either already started or you will be starting. And I thought it's the perfect time to give you guys some advice, kind of share with you my own little nursing school survival guide 101 or how to survive your first semester of nursing school. I remember my first day of school and all the days <laughs> leading up to it. Yeah, I counted down. <laughs> I was just a mixture of nervous but I was excited and kind of anxious and scared but relieved because I was finally starting school. You're just like this jumble of emotions and I'm here to tell you that it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be an amazing experience. So I just want to mention one thing before I officially get started is I do have a video on my YouTube channel that I made a month or two ago and it's tips for incoming nursing students and some of the stuff that I'm saying definitely correlates with that. If you're starting nursing school soon, I suggest you check that video out if you're interested in hearing more from me. It'll be linked up here somewhere and linked down below in the description box. Okay, first things first. Take a deep breath. You have made it. You got accepted into nursing school. You're in the program. You're not having to compete for a spot. You did it. Congratulations. You should feel so, so stinking proud of yourself. You should feel relieved and you should just feel like you got this because I'm telling you, you got this. It's all going to work out perfectly fine. However, <laughs> I am going to keep it 100% honest with you guys. I'm going to be real and raw and just tell you the truth from my experience. I want to say that every school is different. So this is obviously subjective to my experience and my school. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're following along. All right, time to pull out the notebook. Initially, it's going to be very overwhelming your first day just because everything is so new. You have so many new people, new faces, you're in a new environment. It's a lot to take in at once. The degree of being overwhelmed may vary on your prior work experience. So if you do have experience in the healthcare field as a CNA or you are familiar with a lot of things in the hospital, you might feel a little bit more comfortable and it might feel like a review to you because in the beginning of nursing school, a lot of the information you're learning is CNA skills. So it all just depends on the person and your background and what you're coming into. But just remember, you're all in this together. A lot is going to be changing. Your schedule is going to be completely changing, obviously. Your time management and the way that you devote your free time and what you choose to do with it, whether you focus more on school or other activities. Big thing is managing money because I know quite a few people quit or go down to part part time, meaning they work like once a week, twice a week, maybe once to twice a month. And take that with a grain of salt because I know there are people that do work full time while they're in nursing programs or people who are parents, which is more than a full time job while they're in nursing programs, kudos to them. Or there are people that literally are a parent and they're working and they're in school. And I just wanna say, you're amazing, I don't know how you do it. So again, everything is obviously subjective to the individual. Your daily routine and all that is going to be shaken up in this first semester. And that's kind of how it's supposed to be. Because as time progresses in your program, you get a routine, you know what needs to be done, and you feel confident in it and yourself, to be honest. Now you are entering this new territory and it's very unfamiliar. Even if you do have a prior degree or you've obviously taken college classes before, 
this is kind of just different all together it's like nothing i've ever experienced and i really don't feel like people can fully understand what it's like to be in a nursing school program until they're in one themselves i feel like that is the same with any sort of program even engineering law school so i'm just saying this is going to be a little uncomfortable and it's okay because you're all probably feeling that way a little bit at the same time you really have to welcome it with open arms and go in it with an open mind and adjust as needed one of the sorry there's a stinking fly one of the most prominent words that's in my program he's annoying me get out of here one of the most commonly used words by our instructors and the nursing staff and facility is flexible meaning be flexible because so much is always changing that's just how it is in the medical field with science and data things are constantly changing and with what is happening right now there are a lot of changes people are doing school online or in person so really ultimately you kind of just have to be flexible and take it day by day roll with the punches you're not alone in this just remember that with that being said a lot is going to temporarily change in the duration of this program like I had mentioned earlier, how you choose to spend your free time, if you have any. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> kind of. And your study habits and techniques. I know, speaking for myself, that how I studied in a and and my English classes and my other science classes is not how I study in nursing school. It just it doesn't cut it it doesn't work for me and i know it's like that for a lot of people but we'll get more into that in a little bit so initially when you start hopefully prior to starting or right in the beginning of when you start you're kind of like in the calm before the storm i just want you to make sure that you get all of your ducks in a row and by that what i mean is take care of your personal life and everything you can to reduce as much stress as possible before you start nursing school. If that means cleaning your car, getting it detailed, getting an oil change, going through your closet, organizing your room, creating a really nice space that you can study in that feels zen and you feel like you can really focus. Whatever little minuscule things or big things that you need to accomplish and take care of to help reduce any stress i would really really suggest doing that really make sure you have a good support system meaning a few people that you know you can rely on if you need them if you need help when things hit the fan because that may or may not happen while you're in school just having people that you know are there for you and i'll let you in on another little secret you're going to have a really great community once you begin school and you meet people there because they're going through the same thing as you and you guys will be relying on each other then but i'll talk about that more in a minute too lastly make sure you have all of your nursing school supplies all of your scrubs the stethoscope that you need if you need to get any patches sewn on your scrubs Make sure you have everything ready before you start school so you're not scrambling last minute. On a side note, I want to mention I have an Etsy shop where I do sell nursing school related items. I came up with the idea of it after I finished my first year of nursing school just as a creative outlet for myself and a way to help me pay for my nursing education. So if you guys are interested, you can check it out. It's on Etsy. I sell badge rails, badge rail accessories, like little mini Sharpies, pens, or highlighters i have stickers and clipboards and if you're interested it'll be linked up here and linked down below okay back to business so when you initially start school it is so 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 stinking important that you are organized and by that i mean you have some sort of planner this could be like a physical planner that's what i use there are planners you can get on your ipads your laptops your phones anything that works for you maybe a big bulletin board in your room anything because you are really going to want to have everything organized and i'm telling you this because the moment you don't the moment you forget an assignment or you're late on something it's going to be a really big wake-up call because 
every point in assignment matters in school you don't want to miss out on that because you weren't organized so make sure you have a planner or some sort of way to stay on top of all of your classes and your clinicals in the beginning of school you should get a syllabus from your instructors and you can write down your due dates your assignments they should explain more information so you can get a better idea i recommend writing down like a lot of time every day to studying this is because i truly think it's better to study for a shorter amount of time every single day than dedicate like two three days a week to just studying hardcore that doesn't really work for me i feel like i'm kind of cramming information in my head and I'm not actually retaining it and I want to retain this information because this is going to be my career so it's really important but what works for me may not work for you everybody's different and that's why it's so important to learn what works best for you and that's what this whole first year is about you're going to navigate how to properly study when the best time for you to study is i know i am so much better at focusing early in the morning really early than i ever ever would be at night i will not be getting anything done at night i'll tell you that right now something that is really important to take into account again is that every nursing program is different and the classes that you take in your first semester may be different than mine your clinical experience may be different from mine i know some schools in the first semester they're only doing skills in their lab for my program, we were able to go to a nursing facility and then as the year progressed, we moved on to the hospital. Maybe some start in the hospital, I'm not exactly sure, but everybody's program kind of moves at a different speed. But in the end, you all learn the same information, hopefully. <laughs> One thing that I do initially right off the bat is when I'm writing in my planner all my due dates and this and that and I'm looking at the syllabus, I always calculate how many points I can miss in the class to still receive the grade that I want. I kind of work backwards. I've been doing this since a and I'm like, the class is worth 500 points. I want to receive an A. I can miss this many points throughout the whole class period and still receive an A. Does anybody else do that? I don't know. It works for me. It kind of calms my nerves and gives me hope that I can receive that A that I want. So if that's something that interests you, I recommend doing that. It's hard because you have all these assignments, but then your exams are worth so many points. And so at least in my program, your grades are really dependent upon your exam grades. So there's not a lot of wiggle room there. And I know there's not a lot of extra credit we got offered. A couple opportunities for extra credit and I do want to say that sometimes that happened just from a student speaking up in class where they just asked the teacher is there anything we can do for extra credit or they suggested an idea of something that we could do and then our instructors would say yes or else if that didn't happen we would have never gotten that and that could be the difference between an a a b or you passing or failing so i just wanted to put that out there also i feel like another reason that i do that is because in my program if you fail a class it's below a 75 percent i know other programs the percentage is different i think it's all kind of ranges in the 70s and like low 80s but if you fail a class, you actually have to kind of step out of the program and then you can potentially restart it in a year, but you have to reapply. I know some schools, you have to maybe wait another semester or it's just this process. You don't necessarily get to retake it immediately and, and continue on. I know some schools do do that, but again, know your school's policies and read the handbook and understand what you're stepping into so you can do the best that you can possibly do when you begin school you will get divided up into a clinical group i have no idea about this so in my program we are divided up into groups of eight and these are people that you're with for the remainder of your nursing program and you guys work really closely together on practicing skills doing group projects working together in the hospital various things like that and initially we got put together at random and it can be really nerve-wracking because you're surrounded by people you don't know you guys all come from different backgrounds you're different ages 
it's a little intimidating but i'm telling you i can think back to my first clinical experience with my clinical group and my most recent one and the amount of change that occurs you go from not knowing these people to being so comfortable with them like they know you as well as your family because you go through some hard times and you have each other and you rely on each other and i really feel like that bonds you and, and makes you closer to them and you can meet some truly amazing genuine people in school so don't feel nervous about being grouped up with people you don't know it will all work out you will meet some best friends and those people you will be able to rely on when you are having hard times because they're going to rely on you too and you guys all have each other's back it's literally the best thing another thing that is so great about it is you guys are all here in this environment to learn to become nurses and to help people and be the best that you can be you're all choosing to be here it feels a little bit different when you're in like a basic english class that people are just showing up for whereas this is like no you want to be here and you're gonna do great and being surrounded by that i feel like only just pushes you forward more in the best way so as the semester progresses you will experience your first quiz your first exam and it is so normal to feel like a nervous wreck it is very nerve-wracking just because you don't know what to expect you've never had this teacher before possibly you've heard nursing school exams are different than anything else it's scary it's worth a lot of points just know you are not alone you guys are all in this together you're in it with me too but that is why studying the right way is so so important and what i mean when i say that is every instructor you have is going to have a different way of teaching information but the ultimate goal obviously is to pass nursing school get through it make it through and then become an amazing nurse and help others but before you can do that you have to pass the NCLEX and so all the information that you're learning in school is just tools to help you pass the NCLEX studying is so important too because your time is limited I can truthfully say I never understood when people would say that there is not enough time in the day to get things done growing up being a teenager being a young adult sometimes I'm like when will this day end it is too long but that is not the case in school. You have so much to do, so much that you wanna accomplish and get done. And it's really important that you're managing your time well, meaning you are using your time in a helpful way, in a productive way that's going to facilitate your learning rather than just kind of keep you stagnant. Like I mentioned earlier, your study habits will most likely change. I think a big thing has to do with you get thrown so much reading assignments it's just i don't even know i know there's people that do all of the reading assignments but for myself personally it just doesn't make sense i'm not retaining the information it takes up so much time it feels impossible some of the times and i'm not saying i don't ever read i do read but i don't necessarily read all 12 chapters that are assigned in my pharmacology class that week okay i might be exaggerating a little bit it's not 12 but when you have three four classes going on at once whew, it's a lot that's why this first semester is here for you to navigate how to study and what works best for you a lot of people create study groups with their clinical groups a lot of people change it up and you really get a good idea when you take your first nursing school exam seeing how the questions are you really see what you're in for um and maybe it'll give you a better idea of what the NCLEX is like and the style that that test is like and that leads me to my big point piece of advice if you can take anything out of this video i hope that you take this practice questions practice questions over and over and over again not just any questions NCLEX style questions find them online find them in the back of your books there are so many resources that i'm going to go into more about in a minute but practicing these big heavy questions more and more is going to make you better at it when you see the rationales after the question after you answer it basically it's just this really large explanation of why that's the correct answer and why the other ones aren't if you can really comprehend that and retain that you're learning so much just from one question it's being repetitive practicing questions 
consistently. There's apps you can get on your phone. Your school probably has so many resources. There's so much available. And when I say resources, I mean freaking utilize them. You have people at your fingertips. You have your clinical instructors. You have all of the nursing staff. You have your mentors, 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 sorry. We, as a clinical group, each of us were provided with a nursing student that was in a grade above us to kind of direct us and help us with any questions that we had. So we obviously took advantage of that. If you're in clinicals and you're at the hospital, talk to the nurses that you're shadowing and with all day and ask them what they think the best resources were because they were successful. They finished school, they passed the NCLEX and they're working, they're doing what you wanna do. Take advantage of the internet that you're on every single day. There are so many great resources on even YouTube websites. I'm gonna have everything I'm talking about linked down below for you guys just to let you know. A big thing that I feel like kind of happens in every program, especially when maybe your classes are online, mine were the first year, was it's a lot of self-teaching. Even if it's in person, I still feel like you still go home and you have to learn things yourself, dosage calculation, like you just have to teach yourself these things. That's why it's so important to utilize everything. You have textbooks that you paid a lot of money for, you have a laptop, you have a phone, whatever resource, that you have, please, I'm telling you. Don't ever feel like you are lost or you're behind. You can, you can do this, you got this. Specifically, some YouTube channels that I really love, I'm gonna say them and I'm gonna have them linked down below that I've used, is Simple Nursing, especially for pharmacology, Level Up RN, pharmacology. <laughs> Well, if you can't tell my weakness, now you know. And then registered nurse RN. She's amazing. She has so many things on her YouTube channel, but she's great when it comes to learning skills and practicing them. If you're starting a new skill in your labs, you kind of want to watch a video and see how they performed, and she does all that. She's great. She has been on YouTube for a really long time. Again, throughout my year of school, my clinical group and I have found a lot of different resources that we were sharing amongst each other. We had a group chat. We have like a little private Facebook page with just us where we would bounce ideas back and forth or share videos that we thought were super helpful. We actually stumbled upon a YouTuber well, he was obviously a teacher and he lectured from the same pathophysiology book that we were assigned in patho. Hard class. It was great because we had our actual teacher who gave us a lecture and then we could go back and watch his lectures and follow along in the textbook with him. So there's a lot of things out there for you to discover and you to find and I promise Everything you need is available to you. Also, when you purchase your books and your book bundles, a lot of them have access codes to websites online where you can practice questions, where there's quizzes, practice exams, where they give you the rationale, which I've mentioned before, that's super awesome. I have a book that I'm obsessed with that I love. It's the Saunders NCLEX preparation book. I talk about it in like every single video, but I got an access code with that and there's a bunch of practice questions. There's a website that my brother recommended to me and then let me use his account, thank you. It's called Your Best Grade and that is because my school takes HESIs. I know some schools take ATIs. There are so many websites out there. Just read the reviews. Some cost money, some have like monthly memberships. It all just depends. There's Quizlet too. I just wanna say be careful with that because there can be some misinformation on that. So just be smart about where you're gaining your knowledge from. But obviously if you've made it this far, you are smart, so you know what to do. Before I move on, there is one site that I wanna specifically talk about and that is Picmonic. Basically, Picmonic is a mnemonic learning company that helps students pass their exams. It's made for nursing students and medical students. The reason why I like Picmonic so much and I'm recommending it to you guys is that in school, you are studying a lot. There's so much information that's gonna be thrown at you and you are just expected to take it and go and then build on it with this new topic. And it's really important that you figure out a way that's easy for you to memorize information. You learn to get creative with the way that you have to remember things, remembering medications, different assessment tools, 
various things that you learn in school. And what is so nice about Picmonic is it is an audio visual learning system with stories that has characters that really help you remember concepts. It's super easy to navigate. It's organized and you have a bunch of different categories. You have your pharmacology categories, you have your assessments, and it goes into really great detail. Picmonic is used by over a million students. It's free to sign up and you can get it on your desktop, your iPhone, or your Android. If you are interested in Picmonic, they do have monthly memberships where you can pay a small fee and get access to more information, tests, quizzes, and videos. And I actually have a discount code for you guys. So if you click on the link above or click on the link in my description box, you will receive 20% off of your membership. And I just wanna say again, Pigmonic is absolutely amazing. I remember in some of my classes, we would have to get together and create little projects, like little videos. And we got a lot of ideas from Pigmonic because it's so creative and sneaky with how easy it is to memorize information. It's super helpful. All right, I know this video is getting long, so I'm gonna wrap it up. I just wanna remind you guys again, it may be very overwhelming initially, but I promise with time, it's going to get easier. I, I mean that, I promise you, and I will make a bet with you because you will learn how to navigate school, your personal life, your hobbies, and you will really surprise yourself. You can do it, you got this. So just remember to take it moment by moment, day by day, take a deep breath, figure out what helps you relieve stress in a healthy way. Maybe that's exercise, taking a bubble bath, watching a little bit of TV, drinking a glass of wine or two, <laughs> whatever works for you, do it. Okay, hi, I'm getting a little bit closer because I'm gonna get serious with you for a second. I just need you guys to know that you are not alone. You are not alone in nursing school. You may have a really rough day where you don't do well on an exam or you have a really horrible experience in the clinical setting at the hospital because of something that happens with a patient or something that happens with the nurse that you're with that day or you may just be having a hard time because of personal things that are going on in your life and just know that you are not alone in this and you will get through this you are strong and resilient and you've made it this far think of how far you've come you got this this is going to be absolutely worth it lastly i want to say thank you for choosing nursing the fact that you're interested in becoming a nurse or you are going to become a nurse just speaks volumes that you love helping other people how caring and giving you are and it's such a rewarding career and i just want to say thank you you are needed and you are really really loved so with that being said, I hope that wasn't too cheesy. Nursing school is going to be an amazing time. You're going to have a blast. It's not gonna be super easy, but it's going to be beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was insightful. You learned something from it, I hope. And I wish you guys all the best of luck with everything that life brings you. And take care. I will see you guys in my next video, which will be very, very soon. Bye. Camper wanted to say bye to you. Okay, bye. <laughs>